This is big and it is a captive portal um, that you can place anywhere you want, say near a cafe or in a public place and it will present itself as an access point and you use the captive portal mechanisms of mobile devices um, to bring up a screen with your content, in that case uh, games. And the way it works is, is it intercepts the DNS queries. Uh, well, it actually doesn't really intercept them. It just it just lies to the uh, to the mobile device. And whatever is requested, it answers with its own IP address, as you can see here on the on this diagram. And then it will, of course, um, serve HTML pages, HTML files from the local file system. Uh, and whatever is requested, if it does not know it, it will always send the index file and you can work on from there. And this is how it works. First, of course, you have to grab the code from my GitHub repository. It's called Captive IntroWeb. Well, because that's what it is, a Captive IntroWeb. And you have to upload all the files to your ESP module. Uh, the most notable files are the DNS layer, uh, which is aptly called so because it's lying to DNS requests, uh, always sending back the module's IP address. The other important one is the server.lua, which is the actual HTTP server that will respond with the index HTML file to everything it doesn't know. And if it does no other uh, files, it will uh, just send them. Here I'm uploading a small PNG picture, so if you don't overdo it, you can also get away with some smaller pictures. And uh, the actual game files um, make up the biggest chunks here in the uploads, uh, because they contain a lot of JavaScript. So I try to roll them all into one compact file. Of course you will need a custom-made um, Node MCU firmware that will hand out DNS server address uh, upon DHCP requests. I, I can't really distribute that but it's not hard to compile. There are lots of instructions out there by now on how to do it and all you have to do really is uh, set, the, um, set the flag for the DHCP DNS uh, feature and well, it'll just give the client that connects to the soft AP the, the DNS address, namely itself. Uh, you have to execute the apmode.lua file because uh, that will set the module into soft AP mode and it acts as a access point from then. Now, power should not be an issue with a 18650 battery. We need a battery holder for it. They come cheap from China. And this battery is cheap as well. Under that uh, heat shrink tubing there's a, a silicon diode there where we drop 0.6 volts uh, not to overload the module. I'll connect it up the usual way. Oh, come on, yeah, there we go. insert the battery and we're up and running. By the way, if you restart the module like I do now, yeah, 
the yeah you've seen the um, blue LED flashing a couple of times that that indicates that it had a good start. Now we need the magnets and place them underneath the battery. They'll stick to the battery, uh, which is really handy. Insert it into the box. Fit it all in. And seal it. So that's supposedly uh, rainproof, so it can stay out. And it'll stick to any metal surface. And you'll see a, a new Wi-Fi network. If you connect to that, it'll bring up this uh, captive portal and you can play games on it. Yay! Now we're going to use dirty construction techniques. I'll just cut the wires, um, strip the insulation, and I fast forward that. Right, we need two positive um, wires, one for the actual current, uh, uh, the other ones just for this chip enable pin. And that's a 3 volt button cell. A 3 volts should be sufficient for the for the module. Connect positive and chip enable and of course the negative. And I will just tape those um, directly to the to the button cell. So I'll connect the black wire to the negative terminal of the button cell. Sorry, you can't see that on the camera at the moment. Here, yeah, there we go. And I'll use the magnet to connect the positive wires. And now our LEDs should have lit up, which they apparently don't and no. oh, let's have another try. It's all connected properly. No, nothing wrong there. Looks good. It's gotta work. Ah, that's too dim. Well, I suspect the uh, the battery just isn't up to the job. Uh, I will read up on that. I might have known. So, no. This throwy does not work.